Hey everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be memory planning and this is for the week of August 3rd through the 9th and I'm so excited to announce that this plan with me is also going to be a collab with my dear friend Tiffany from Tiff's Planet. Um, I'm going to be linking her video down below. We are both using the super gorgeous kit from Chic Blossom Prints and I absolutely love Tiff's planning style. She has just a really elegant, um, really beautiful sense of style when it comes to planning so I highly encourage you guys to go check out her video as well. Um, she's become a really good friend here in the planning community since we did our first collab a year ago so um, it's actually really fun to collab with her again now that we know each other so much better and um, in addition to the collab this video is also a giveaway we will each be giving away $25 of shop credit to chic blossom prints which is this shop and all you have to do to enter the giveaway is to subscribe to both of our channels we will be requesting screenshots if you are chosen as the winner so make sure you're subscribed and also leave a comment down below with your favorite flavor of ice cream. Um, we decided to make it something kind of lighthearted and fun and we both love ice cream so we just wanted to know what your favorite flavor is. Um, I will be including all of the details for the giveaway down below so make sure you check that box if you're interested so you don't miss out on any of the details or the rules. And now jumping into the kit that we're both using for this week. This is called Moon Rose and it's in a really pretty silver foil as you can see. We've got the full boxes and quarter boxes at the bottom. On this page, we have the bottom washi, which is two strips and some date covers. We have some headers, some build do stickers, habit trackers, and half boxes. And then this last page is not foiled. We have some bow checklists, some functional icons, a Monday through Sunday box, some quarter boxes slash appointment labels. We have a movie marquee, a huge laptop sticker, some flags, and then a weekend banner here at the bottom. So that is everything included in the kit. And as usual, I'm gonna start by placing down my bottom washi. So if you're interested, then stay tuned. For this week, I did have to trim off a little bit from the bottom washi because it was just a little bit too long for that bottom washi section. Um, I've mentioned this before, but the bottom washi section on the Recollections is a little bit thinner compared to the Erin Condren. So sometimes the washi that's meant to fit the Erin Condren does need to be trimmed down a little bit, um, but it's not too big of a deal. I just go ahead and mark it with a pen and then cut right through the part that I want to cut off. Moving to my sidebar, I first placed down a blank box from Planner Just For You. I love using those to cover up the top corner of the sidebar so I don't have to do any whiting out. Then I placed down the quote box at the top and this quote says, who says you cannot hold the moon in your hands? I then placed down a strip of washi to separate the full box from the rest of the sidebar and I placed down a habit tracker to track my working out. I decided to use the This Week header from the kit because it was included, um, so I didn't have to create my own Happy Memories um, header. And then at the bottom, I used a Bill Do sticker for my dinners header, and I used this foiled utensil sticker from Hey Soul sticker to cover up that Bill Do part. I pulled in a silver foiled workout sticker, and that's from Right Brain Paper Co. And then that's it for my sidebar. So I go ahead and move on to placing down all my date covers. These ones came with a kit, so they match really nicely. And I found these silver foiled date dots in my collection, and these are from a shop called Tagami Fox. Once all the date covers are placed down, I go ahead and move on to Monday. I first started by placing down a foiled header at the very top, then I used a half box to mark that Monday was the last day of my summer break. Um, it felt like it went by really fast this year, and it was definitely very bittersweet because I wasn't quite ready to face this new school year um, with so many things up in the air. Initially, I used a sun sticker from Paper and Milk, um, but I felt like it was a little too cheery for how I felt, so I pulled in the sad emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. instead. I then used a flag sticker with a coffee cup. I think that's from Chic Blossom Prints. I got that as a sampler and I used that to mark having some coffee that morning. I then placed down a full box and there's some empty space at the bottom so I decided to pull in a silver foiled heart on top of that. That is from Hey Soul Sticker and I used that to mark that on Monday I had listened to Taylor Swift's new album Folklore on repeat for like several hours because it's so good. Um, if you guys have listened to it please let me know what you think about it if you love it as much as I do and also let me know what your favorite song is. It's been really hard for me to choose one. I feel like it just depends on the day um, but yeah I would love to hear your thoughts 
thoughts on that. Um, then underneath that, I used a washi strip with a Today Script sticker from Artbox Stickers. And then I used a three bow checklist underneath that to mark some things that I did that day. I worked on my puzzle, so I pulled in a puzzle sticker from Planner Just For You, and I also wanted to add some foils, so I pulled in a silver foiled bow from Planning Like A Pro. To mark a workout that I did, I used another script sticker from Right Brain Paper Co. with a shoe from Hey Soul sticker, and then at the bottom, I just wanted to mark that I relaxed for the rest of the night, and that sleeping mask sticker is from Happy Sherpa Papery. On Tuesday, I first placed down a full box. Um, this one has empty space on the inside, so I pulled in a work sticker from With Love Sticker Co., which is a new shop on Etsy, and I marked that Tuesday was my first day of work for this new school year. I then placed down a Today header with a silver foiled coffee sticker from Hey Soul Sticker to mark that I had some coffee that morning, and then I had my first meeting, so I decided to use the giant laptop from the kit with a silver foiled bow from Planning Like a Pro. Underneath that, I pulled in a foiled header. Then I used a quarter box with a bow paper clip sticker from Sticky Fingers Co. to mark another meeting that I had that afternoon. And then I wanted to mark that I worked on my puzzle more that day. So I used a flag from the kit with a house icon from Right Brain Paper Co. At the bottom, I just wanted to mark that I painted my nails that night. So I pulled in this nail polish sticker and that's from Planning Like a Pro. On Wednesday, I first placed down a full box at the very bottom, and then I moved to the top and started by placing down an important header. I found this really cute shelf sticker from Paper Shire, and I used that to mark um, setting up my new office. I actually went into my new school this year and had a chance to just set everything up, and I felt like that shelf sticker was perfect to mark that. I then used a quarter box from the kit with a planner sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that I had to meet with a coworker that day. I then used a half box with a laptop sticker from Right Brain Paper Co. to mark another meeting that I had that afternoon. And then I pulled in a quarter box with some silver foiled planning stickers and those are from With Love Sticker Co. They came in a sampler sheet that she included when she sent me some stickers to try out. In the remaining space, I used a pillow sticker from the kit to mark that I took a nap after work that day because I just wasn't used to waking up so early again, so I was like definitely super exhausted. And then I also did a quick workout, so I pulled in these dumbbell stickers from Sunset Sticker Co., which I'm pretty sure is no longer open. On Thursday, I first placed down a foiled header at the top, then I used a flag with a car sticker from Right Brain Paper Co. to mark that I had to go pick up some of my PPE equipment at my district office. Um, we were given two face masks, a face shield, and also like a plexiglass so that um, whenever we start working with the kids again, um, we have some level of protection, which is good. And then underneath that, I used a half box with a silver foiled meeting sticker that is from Hazel Sticker. And um, I use that to mark meeting up with a couple other coworkers to pass along some information about my old school. I then used a quarter box with a silver foiled paw print sticker from Chic Blossom Prints to mark that I went into my other school and I set up my office there as well. I had cleaned everything out for the summer, so I just had to go put everything back. Um, then I placed down a full box underneath that. On the half box, I used this Beer Girl sticker from Paper Bear Co. to mark that I went and grabbed happy hour with some of my old coworkers. And then when I got home that night, I did some editing. So I pulled in a silver foiled edit sticker from Randy.Plans. And the laptop, I believe, is from Planning Like a Pro. On Friday, I first placed down a full box at the top. Then I used a silver foiled work from home sticker that is from With Love Sticker Co. And um, on Friday, I was able to work from home because I didn't have to go into the office for anything. Um, I marked a few things that I did for work that day, and then I used a foiled header underneath. I didn't have a whole lot going on on Friday, so I decided to mark my lunch using this utensil sticker from Paper and Milk. And then I had a phone call with someone, so I used a little sticky note sticker that's from Hazel Sticker, and also this phone sticker, which I believe is from Tickled Pink Planning. I then used a half box and the silver foiled car from Chic Blossom Prints to mark a couple places we went to after I was done with work. Um, we grabbed some Happy Mail and then had to stop by Lowe's to grab something else, I think for the front yard. Um, and then underneath that, I used a workout sticker. Again, those are from Right Brain Paper Co. And that dumbbell again is from a shop that's no longer open. 
At the end of the night, we watched a food documentary, so I decided to mark that using a Bill Do sticker, and I just covered up the Bill Do part like I did in the sidebar. Um, that TV icon is from Nicole Hutch Designs. On Saturday, I first placed down a full box at the very bottom, and then to avoid having to white out the header, I decided to use a foiled header on top of it. Moving to the top of Saturday, I placed down a today header, then I used a half box with a pillow, I think that is from Happy Sherpa Papery, and I used that to mark having a lazy morning on Saturday, which was very lovely. Then underneath that, I used a flag sticker with a cleaning icon that is from Chic Blossom Prints, and I used that to mark doing a little sweeping and vacuuming. And then we did a picnic with a few of our friends that day, which was really fun. Um, I pulled in a silver foiled heart from Hey Soul sticker, and also this camping sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. Um, because our friends were testing out a new tent that they had purchased, so we decided to try it out at the park. I then used a quarter box with a bow from Planning Like a Pro to mark that we went home after that, and then my boyfriend and I had some drinks that night. Um, I honestly didn't have a whole lot to mark, which is why I'm marking all these little things that I typically would not include. Um, that drink sticker is from Happy Sherpa Papery. In the full box, there's some empty space inside. Um, I marked that we watched a movie called Waves. It was really good. That TV sticker is from my spoiled planner. Moving to Sunday, I first placed down a foiled header at the top. Then I used a quarter box with a car sticker from Nicole Hutch Designs to mark that my boyfriend had left out of town on a week long trip. I was gonna fill it out off camera. And then on the half box, oh my gosh, so literally a couple hours after he left, a lizard somehow got into my house and I was like full on freaking out because I don't really like lizards. And then um, before I could like figure out how to get it outside, Pokey came over and pretty Pretty much killed the lizard so then I had a dead lizard in the house that I was like really scared to dispose of luckily I had a friend who was really nice and came over to help me get rid of the lizard and I was like so grateful for him because I seriously don't know what I would have done for literally the entire week that my boyfriend was gone so Anyways, it got taken care of, but of course that had to happen to me. Um, I then used a to-do header with a checklist to mark some things I did that day, and I wanted to pull in a foiled icon, but I didn't have any foiled books or yoga stickers, and so I just pulled in this notebook from Hey Soul Sticker so that it could represent a book. And then at the end of the night, I just did a Gilmore Girls binge. That foiled TV sticker is from Chic Blossom Prints. I moved back to my sidebar and I track my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners for the week as I usually do at the very end of my spread. And then um, now I'm just showing you all the stickers that I have left in this kit. I use quite a bit, but as always, there's some stickers left over, so I will be including that in a leftovers giveaway um, sometime in the near future. And I'm just doing a vid wiggle to show you guys the foiling that I pulled into the spread. Um, a lot of it actually came in the kit, but I also, as you can see, pulled in quite a few icons from my collection. Here's a walkthrough of the spread so you guys can see the details a little bit better. And that is it for this week. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you also go and check out Tiff's video. I got a sneak peek of her spread and it is so beautiful. Um, so I highly recommend you guys watch her video. She's really funny and also just has great planning style. So I'm really excited to watch her video as well. Also, don't forget to enter our giveaway. You have two chances to win, one on my video and the other on Tiff's video. So please remember, to leave a comment with your favorite ice cream flavor down below. Um, my personal favorite is mint chocolate chip, which is why I was so excited. If any of you had seen my Instagram videos from last week, I was so excited to discover the mint chip Talenti, I think is how you pronounce it, um, but it's that gelato brand and it was so, so good. So yeah, that is my personal favorite and it's been extra delicious during this heat wave that we have right now. But anyways, I feel like I'm just rambling now. So make sure you check the box down below for all the details on how to enter the giveaway. And thank you all so much for watching as usual. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe wherever you are. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.